Cherokee High School is proud to congratulate Emily Castor with the prestigious Teacher of the Year Award for the 2022-2023 school year. Emily Castor has been an English teacher at Cherokee for 11 years. She's described as open-minded, patient, optimistic, and genuine. Uh, Ms. Castor inspires me to kind of like try my best, if that makes any sense. Like, whether it be like in English, um, when we're reading Hamlet, it makes no sense, but she like makes it so like it's okay if it makes no sense. She creates like really lovely environments to be in, whether that be like in a classroom or an after school setting, she just like kind of creates safe space, which uh, is just like a really big deal for me and like uh, my other classmates. Emily is a big proponent of social emotional learning, a teaching technique that employs self-awareness, self-control, and interpersonal skills that set students up for future success. So social emotional learning is taking the whole student into account. So it's not just the education that goes on in the classroom, it's taking into account mental health and teaching skills that help to build the students as people as well. Um, so I'll do certain things in class, for instance with my freshmen last week, we just needed to take a break from everything English related and talk about time management. What it is, why it's important and how to build time management skills. So you can do specific social emotional learning lessons. I've also done lessons on stress and what it is and why it's important, how we demonstrate that we're feeling stressed and how to kind of overcome it. Done lessons on resiliency, but also just taking into account what students bring into the classroom and how that affects what they do in here. So every Monday I will do a start of the week check-in. I think I started them with your class, but you know, just asking what students' goals are for the week, allowing them to set, you know, small or large but attainable goals, asking them how they're going to go about achieving them asking them you know what else is going on and what things are going well in their lives as well as you know things they might be stressed about and using that to see the whole student and how I can use that to make them effective students in the English classroom. She also regularly updates her teachings to include new thinking and learning strategies which as of late includes hexagonal thinking, which involves students taking their ideas and arranging them next to each other, creating a web of connections with different routes of thinking to be explored. When it comes to classroom instruction, Emily goes out of her way to seek diversity in the curriculum and uses examples that appeals to all students. So oh, a couple years ago when it was decided not to use To Kill a Mockingbird with the freshman curriculum, they needed to put something else in. And all sorts of people had different opinions, obviously, but Ms. Castor volunteered to be on the committee to help find something else that could be replaced to kill a mockingbird for the freshmen. And she, I don't know how many books she read and how many different things she went through, and she came up with lesson plans for all of them. And she made requests for more and more and more to read. And then she gave her report to the committee and gave some ideas about what you know, would be a good thing to do to use instead of To Kill a Mockingbird. And she just, I, I don't know how many hours she spent just trying to find something that would work for the students, come up with an entirely new plan because it would be something we've never taught before. And her kids love the book that she chose and she gets a lot out of it and she has done so much with it. So she's just willing to do work that is way above and beyond just a regular teaching day. Emily has served on many curriculum committees, coach extracurricular activities such as track in the school newspaper, Cherokee Scout, and is a Google certified educator who comfortably implements cutting edge technology into her classrooms. Ms. Castor is probably one of the most positive people I know. She is always upbeat. She is so kind. She is so patient with her students. They, you can just tell that they just love her. And anytime there's some kind of accolade for teachers, she always gets multiple students writing to her about how great she is, how interesting she is in the classroom. She's always trying to make sure every student understands what's going on. She varies her instruction. She's just 
And she talks about that kind of stuff in the planning center. So that makes us all feel, you know, this is great. We can try new things. We can, we don't have to do the same old, same old that we've always done. We can keep trying to be positive because it's hard to be negative and grumpy when there's somebody who's just always smiling and positive in front of you. So yeah, she's, she certainly brights up, brightens up the planning center for all of us. The most rewarding part of my job is seeing when students get it, like seeing the moment when it clicks, whether that is in students' annotations or seeing them in a class discussion or working in groups in an activity, but that moment when everything makes sense is the coolest part of this job, for sure. For Chief TV, I'm Celestiani.